Hey there folks, this is the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode where I go over some backpacking basics. Now, for this episode, you guys are gonna have to use your imaginations just a little bit because this deals with cold temperatures, winter time conditions, freezing conditions, essentially. Now, right now, it's like 73 degrees, so it is just way hot. So, like I said, you're gonna have to use your imaginations just a little bit. So what I want you to do is to picture that I'm inside of a tent or something like that. Maybe I'm underneath my tarp, it really doesn't matter. But it is cold outside. The conditions are way below freezing, definitely chilly. Now let's say that I've been working around camp all day or I've been hiking to my destination and I'm taking my shoes off. Now you know from sweating inside of your shoes that in the morning, your shoes will be a block of ice. I've been there, most hikers who've gone out in the winter have been there, and it sucks. Nothing is worse than putting on a pair of shoes that are just literally blocks of ice. <laughs> I mean, it takes a long time for that ice to warm up. Now, what I'm going to show you here deals with keeping your shoes from freezing. It's very, very simple. It's an easy thing to do. Now, as I mentioned, you will have to use your imagination for this here. Now, when you are out winter camping, you will have a sleeping bag and or some sort of ditty bag inside of your backpack, a bag big enough for you to put your shoes in. Definitely most compression bags for, or stuff sacks for sleeping bags are large enough for your shoes, especially in the winter time. Right here I have a ditty bag, which is large enough for my shoes to go in, but this could be a stuff sack, whatever. Take your bag and turn it inside out. That way when you put your shoes inside of the bag, the dirt is on the outside, not the inside. So in the morning you could flip this right way out, put your sleeping bag in it, and your sleeping bag doesn't get dirty. So, knock off the dirt, the mud, the snow, and stick them inside of your bag. You could then seal them up, that way none of the dirt, the muck, comes out. Now, as I mentioned, you have to use your imagination here. So, I'm inside of my tent and I'm about to go to bed, and I don't want my shoes to freeze, right? So I'm about to hop inside of my sleeping bag. What you do is you take your bag with the shoes and you shove them in the very bottom of your sleeping bag. So you shove those in, then you hop in yourself, you pull it tight, you zip it up. Your body heat and the sleeping bag itself will keep your shoes from freezing. It's a simple little trick that really does work well and it prevents your shoes from becoming blocks of ice. I tell you what, some of the roughest mornings I've ever had have involved putting on shoes that were literally frozen blocks of ice because all that moisture that you release from your feet goes right into your shoes and it will freeze. Another thing that you can do that's nice, you can take out the soles from your shoes if they're removable and you can keep them around your body while you're sleeping. So in the morning, you can take those, put them in your shoes, put your shoes on and everything will be nice, warm and not frozen. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Thank you all for using your imaginations for this one. Use this tip. I promise you it works very, very well. Until next time, everybody, take care, strength, and honor. See you guys.